Hello farmers and welcome back to Farming Simulator 25. Today we're looking at some more in-game footage that was just released at, I believe, at GamesCon. And it uh, looks like we're starting off here in a Voltra alongside the river. I assume this is going to be on the river bend map. And I think what they're really showing off here is the morning fog at 6.30 in the morning in the upper right-hand corner. At least that's what it says there. So we got some morning fog. And we're seeing how the lighting is being done more so here in FS25. You can actually see in the fog a little bit how the shadows of the trees and the fog are affected with the sun. Pretty cool there. It looks like we're getting through the fog or the fog is lifting. There is a barge. I don't know if there's going to be trains on this map. I don't know if I've seen any trains yet for this map. So I wonder if the barge is going to be kind of the way material is transported to like uh, Elm Creek, uh, Ravenport, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we'll find out in a few months. So here we are at one of the greenhouses, it looks like, for the rice. We saw this, I do believe, in earlier footage as well. This is where you can grow your rice seedlings to sprout on up before you plant them, I assume. So if we look on the outside, you can see a pallet of rice seedlings right out there. It looks like we're in a fent. Watch out for the cotton behind you. I'm trying to see the ground deformation a little bit. I think I can see it. If I can pause it right there, um, you can kind of see the ground deformation even driving down uh, just like a side road. Uh, so it's not just in the fields, it looks like. Also, maybe uh, on any part of uh, soil areas. Yeah, you can definitely see the ground deformation there. Not so much where the grass has grown, but definitely over here it is. It's kind of hard to tell in the grass because that's probably hiding it a little bit. So you can see just to our left here is a rice field there with the irrigation system. Yeah, you can definitely see before the tractor there's no deformation and right where the tractor is there is deformation. So yeah, it's not just in the fields, it's also on the side roads, which is pretty cool. As far as I remember them saying, the ground deformation is going to be like the way tire tracks are now in the game. It's only going to keep track of uh, such an, of an area. So, I mean, if you're playing for like hours on end, eventually where you were an hour ago or however long ago, eventually it'll be, uh, the ground will go right back to normal. But just like tire tracks, we've all seen it as you drive around the map, they, once you drive around too much in a the vehicle, they'll start to start to uh, disappear uh, as we can see here you can definitely see uh, the water ripples being made by the Izeki rice planter I don't know if they're called planters or what they would be called but cedars I guess possibly and here we are harvesting uh, this is just I want to call it rice that's what it says in the other uh, bottom right hand corner it just calls it rice there's different types of rice so, as we'll see here in the future, you can kind of see right over here on the left-hand side of the harvester, uh, you can see where it's picking up the rice and bringing it to the machine and it does its magic. And we are getting some chaff out the back. I don't think that's going to be able to be made into straw, but we know what modders can do. Uh, they'll find a way <laughs> if you want to make straw out of uh, rice chaff. Pretty good animation there, how the rice is being harvested. And in a second here, we're going to see them unload. We can actually see some traffic in the game as well. I've been trying to keep an eye open. I've only watched this video like twice. So I was trying to keep my eye open for any... Sometimes giants will put things into the background as a sneak peek. And we got to try to find that information ourselves. But they know they put it there. <laughs> and we're just trying to see how keen our eyes are. So now here we are, we're har they're harvesting long grain rice with a John Deere harvester. And once again, yeah, they're not 
putting it into a swath out the back, so I don't think we'll be able to make any kind of straw from it. But as I said, modders tend to do some magical things. I think uh, in 22, not a mod that I've used, but you can pretty much make straw out of anything that you harvest. And they are using GPS or a helper in this situation. You can see it's active in the bottom right-hand corner. I don't know if they're using a helper or if they're just using the GPS mod. I, I shouldn't call it a mod in 25 because that's going to be part of the base game. So it's kind of hard to tell here but because I think all the chaff is kind of hiding it. But even uh, the John Deere is leaving ground deformation into the field currently. We'll see more relevant ground deformation later on in the video. Kind of hard to see here with the shadow. I mean, I can I can kind of see it, but I guess it all depends on what kind of resolution and screen you have here. But there's no ground deformation before the tractor, and you can see it right after the tractor also. I would hope you'd be able to see it after the tractor. Yeah, it's not very noticeable. And I think when they pull up to the harvester, boy, it's kind of hard kind of hard to get it at the right angle but you can kind of see I can see the tracks of the harvester here and here and you can see where it's uh, dipped into the ground a little bit I don't know or I haven't heard anything to where as we're starting to see spinach being harvested in the spinach harvester so you have to buy a special harvester for that I don't know with ground deformation if we're going to have anything like soil compaction affecting the yield of the crops. So if you keep driving in a field, I guess if you don't plow or loosen up the soil, I don't know if that's going to hurt the yield of the crops at all. I haven't heard anything about that. But one step at a time, I suppose. Ground deformation is going to be kind of nice to see. So it looks like this harvester may hold about 30, 35,000 liters of spinach. You can see how it unloads. Kind of reminds me of sugarcane, the way that unloads. But um, yeah, I haven't used a standard sugarcane harvester and trailer for a while. Uh, here's the Macdon uh, swather, I guess you would call it. And here's something I don't think I've ever done in Farming Simulator. Swath a crop and then go around picking up afterwards. Not my not my style, but you know, maybe someday I will uh, have to venture into this. Yeah, see, even now as I'm watching the video, I'm more focused on, the, on what we're, they're focusing on. Sometimes you just gotta look in the background, you might see a hidden gem of something that uh, will be coming in FS25. So here's a Massey Ferguson. And now here is something, um, another brand coming here to FS25. At least I don't think this brand was in 22. Uh, Novag, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but this is a seed drill, which is pretty obvious. You can see the ground deformation once again before and after. But of course, after the drill goes over, I think the deformation goes away but uh let's see if i can pause it here there we go novag i did go to the website have a quick look they do have drills up to 12 meters wide so i didn't see if it was a direct drill or not i love my direct drills as we know but yeah novag um i don't know if that was any mods of novag in previous versions or not but looks like uh, yep novag will be in fs 25 coming november 12th And they are planting wheat with this. It also has fertilizer capabilities as well. So it's not just seed, it's seed and fertilizer as a plant. Uh, here is another brand, uh, Senebogen. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. Uh, but that's definitely a nice little telehandler. And I like how the cab raises up. So you can get a better view, of course, of where your bale spikes are picking up. Well, whatever you're picking up, but here they're picking up, I would say that's a grass bale. And we're going to go on over and feed the cows. 
And not really, it's kind of hard to see ground deformation on this gravel. So that'd be kind of an interesting thing to know is, is the ground type going to affect how much green ground, ground deformation that we get? So of course on gravel, you're not going to imprint as much as you would like on mud or, or dirt or such things like that. So of course you can see the little calves, uh, baby calves of the cows in the pen. And it does look like there are different stages of growth. So, I mean, you can see this, this uh, calf right here. And then, of course, you can see this one right here is bigger than this one. And then this cow here, which is a female by the looks of things, uh, is bigger than this cow here. And I can't tell if that's a bull back there or not. No, probably not. I have no idea. Uh, but it looks like there's not just a calf and then a full-grown cow. It looks like there might be different stages of growth, which would be pretty cool. Let's see if we can get kind of like three of them together in the video, which I'm not sure we're going to get. But I think you can see what I'm pointing at. You can see the little one here, as I pointed out before, and then like a medium size. You got your small, medium, and your large, uh, basically, is what uh, it looks like we have here. The one thing I still haven't seen are the horses yet. Um, now they're really going to show off the ground deformation here. And I still haven't seen the horses. Uh, I don't know if you've seen by the video, but yeah, there will be goats apparently in FS25 in the base game. Apparently at one of the end of the videos, there was a question if it was a lamb or a goat. And I'm doing it by hearsay, but someone said Kermit told them, which is a community uh, person at Giants, told them it was a goat. But anyways, yeah, you can see once the drill goes over the ground deformation right there, it goes back to, uh, should I say, base, base leveling the way the field was. And it's good to see New Holland still in the game. And now we can see here a Twister Tornado slash Cyclone in the background. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh, crap. Um, let me back up just a little bit here. So I'm not too sure about the tornadoes, twisters, cyclones. Uh, if they actually move across the map. It looks like they may just spawn in an area. And that's it. I don't think they're actually moving across the map. I think they just spawn in a certain area and that's it. So this one might, might be just in the forest. It'll just stay there and it'll destroy the forest area which i'm kind of interested to see if they're going to have like jobs for us to fix the forest or of course we can go in and you can see in the forecast in the upper right hand corner you can see uh there's a twister there auntie m so yeah be prepared i don't know i wonder if they'll i wish they kind of showed it i haven't been paying attention uh i wonder if they showed it here no that's just showing a sun okay I was trying to see if it showed like in the forecast where we get like the current weather and the upcoming weather. I wonder if it will show a cyclone uh, in the picture. But see how it's kind of like just staying in one spot. It's not really moving across the map. But then again, this is, uh, this, this footage is, as they say, footage not final. So yeah, I, it's the third time I watched the video, so I don't know if I missed anything or not. Have no idea. But it's nice seeing different stages of the cow's growth. Uh, rice, of course, we're all interested in, but we're getting to see rice and spinach. I don't know if there's other new crops that they're going to introduce, but I haven't uh, haven't seen anything as of yet for information. But, of course, any more information that we can get, I will, of course, uh, post a video on it, and you can see it here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, if you happen to want to uh, pre-buy... Farming Simulator 25, or if you want to purchase any other uh, series of Farming Simulator or DLCs or Season Passes, if you want to help out my channel, my link is in the description below. It has my uh, code into it, and yeah, you'll be buying directly from Giants, and all it does is just help me level up a little bit with Giants so I can get the information uh, sooner than, <laughs> than I currently do now. And uh, if you decide to do so, I appreciate it very much. And that's one way to help support the channel if you decide to do so. But anyways, if you made it this far in the video and you like what you saw, 
don't forget to hit that like button. Helps out the channel and the video more than you know. It also lets me know that you enjoyed seeing the content that you saw here today. And while you're down there, if you haven't done so, you might want to hit that subscribe button as well. But that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in Farming Simulator 25. But until then, have a good one.